What's up creative community? What's up? How you guys doing? It's great. You are back on our channel. Once again, this is Lorenzo from the Coach MC Studio. This is the place where we'll help you to shape unique behavior deliveries and where we'll help you to get recognized in the audition room. And today, in this video, I'm gonna try to show you the importance of a very difficult acting skill. One of the most complicated actually to explain, one of the most intrinsic, but once you figured it out and you put it into action, I promise you, this tool will help you to boost your delivery from very good to legendary. Today, in this video, we're gonna talk about the power of opposite forces, the power of contradiction coming up. So let's see what's cooking. What is so beautiful about life? That was a question. What is so beautiful about life? I think the contradiction is so beautiful about life. I think whenever it comes to a collision of intent, of moral values, of interests, of ethical opinions, whatever it is, that's where, you know, life starts. That's where it starts to get interesting. We have millions of different visions inside of ourselves, millions of different opinions, millions of different emotions and feelings. Let's say we have two basic informations inside of our brain and inside of our heart. Fear and we have love. And between fear and love, between these two distinctive poles, everything happens. And there are billions of possibilities. Most of the actors, when it comes down to an audition, of course, they try to play it safe. They try to at least have one objective, what do I want, and they try to follow through, right? So they don't kind of lose track of their emotions, they don't lose track of their objective, of their character. But here's the thing, life starts to get interesting whenever we have a collision of intent, whenever we have a collision, an impact of feelings, of emotions, whenever we get flipped upside down in one second. And since this is what great acting is all about, right? To play with these opposite forces, I can only strongly encourage you guys to kind of dive deep into this session today and experiment with this idea of always searching for the extremes inside of one scene inside of one character for the play or for the audition or for the scene that you have to play in front of the camera because that will create tension that will create an interesting volume of diverse facets and some some critical mass that is interesting to watch because if you are going for the contradiction if you are trying to search inside of yourself what this character loves but at the same time what he hates or what he's mostly afraid of it will immediately immediately give you another perspective. It will elevate your character above everybody else. We have such a variety of beautiful emotions and colors inside of ourselves that it's just a waste that we're trying to play it safe during auditions or during a scene just because we don't want to lose our traction or our concentration or because sometimes we think, well, if I play too much, if I go into too many pockets, maybe it, my character isn't believable anymore, isn't genuine enough anymore, but actually quite the opposite is true. The more facets we have, the more we dive in into those diverse pockets of emotions and feelings that we have, the more we search for those extremities inside of ourselves, the more interesting the character becomes. Of course, it's not that easy. It's quite complicated to wrap your head around this concept initially, but once you absorbed it and you realize that ultimately, subconsciously, we're doing this all the time. Human beings have this tendency of contradict themselves all the time. It's nothing new. But of course, when we are coming to the audition, we want to keep it as compact and as close to ourselves and as straight as possible. But by doing so, we kind of suppress all the beautiful emotions that we have inside of ourselves. You have a two minute scene let's say on the couch with your partner that you love dearly, right? You're sitting on the couch and you're watching TV and you're cuddling each other and you're just loving each other. And I see a lot of actors that will play this scene, you know, with this straight, happy emotion, right? You're satisfied, you feel accomplished, you feel gratified, you're happy. And this is already pretty beautiful and inside of itself as a delivery, there is some variation already, but the overall tone is happiness and happiness after 30 seconds, it's quite boring to watch. What can we do to spice up a regular looking scene? What can we do to put some more motion, more dynamic into such a delivery? We can search for the opposite force. 
If you love somebody, if you love cuddling somebody, if you love staying with somebody, if you love to just spend time with somebody, just being on the couch, just making love, just taking a walk, just eating ice cream with somebody that you call your partner. At the same time, aren't you afraid of losing that somebody? Aren't you afraid of of being too dependent from that person? What I'm trying to say is we love somebody and at the same time, we're afraid of that somebody. It's, it's comfortable to have somebody. It's nice to have somebody. So ask yourself when your play is seen that on the surface looks comfortable and neat and happy and all clean. What is the dirt underneath? Where are the opposite forces? What is scary about the situation? It could be just a glimpse in your eye for a couple of seconds, but that glimpse, that change of mood, of attitude, just for a couple of seconds by asking yourself like, God, I hate that to be dependent from somebody. And then he kisses you or he says something funny or she comes up with a, a nice memory you guys had and then boom, your face lights up again and all the negative thoughts and this dark cloud is just washed away. And that happens in a matter of seconds. And like I said, this is probably something we do subconsciously. This acting tool, playing with the opposite forces, is probably something that we don't realize that we're using actually. By bringing it to light, by letting it surface, by you know observing it objectively and, and trying to understand how it actually works and make it more active, make it more conscious rather than subconscious, we get a way better grip on how we can use that acting potential. Maybe you have seen the movie Uncut Gems with Adam Sandler. Look at Adam Sandler's character. In my opinion, this is one of the best male performances of the last years. I don't know, like since Heath Ledger, I haven't seen anything that blew me away in the way that Adam Sandler blew me away with Uncut Gems. So watch that movie and see what a kind of interesting, contradictory character and role that was. He kind of loved everything. And then at the same time, he hated everything. He hated his existence and he loved his existence at the same time. He hates his wife. And then again, he loves his wife because his wife gave birth to his child. He hates his mistress, but then again, he loves his mistress because he can be somebody else with her. She shares some of his uh, passions. Then he loves gambling, but then at the end, you know, he hates gambling because he risks his entire life week in week out throughout the year by gambling by betting by you know trying to make a fast dollar on on sports bet and all that so his character is full of contradictions it's full of opposite forces it's full of those very quick scenes where we have both forces clashing against each other with a high oscillation and that makes this character so interesting so intriguing so whenever you're jumping to an audition whether it's a cold read or you have a couple of days to prepare those sides even though it's not scripted even though there is no substantial evidence that this character has contradictions per se they are part of the human experience they are part of us so search for them and, and make them big Try to let those forces clash against each other because that inner turmoil, that inner dynamic makes the character appealing. Maybe we don't know everything he's feeling or thinking right now in the moment, but I can see something is going on. Why this tension? Ultimately, these clashes, these moral conflicts that we have day in, day out on a daily basis, every hour of our life, probably every minute of our life, sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously, they make life interesting. They make life worth living. If everything is blunt and flat, oh, today I'm all day happy. Tomorrow I'm all day sad. <laughs> Nothing really happens there. Of course, you can play a lot of facets of being happy or a lot of facets of being sad. But then again, it's one basic emotion. You have a piece of gold and you can flatten this piece of gold just for a while. After you flatten it and flatten it and flatten it over and over again, it becomes so flat, it's almost undistinguishable from the environment because it's so thin we can't even perceive it and that happens if you play out one basic emotion for the whole scene otherwise if you use opposite forces and if you use the clashes the contrast of the contradiction inside of yourself you don't just flat out play one emotion for the whole scene you don't spread out your core message too thin you always have kind of time to reboot and regain momentum with that basic emotion that does that make any sense to you guys let me know in the comment section below right now if that metaphor, that example kind of shows you what I mean. Because like I said, it's quite intrinsic to work with, to wrap your mind around this. But realize this, it happens already. 
every day since you were born. Sometimes you love things and then things come close to you and then you say, oh no, it starts to become a threat. Sometimes you hate something and then it comes close to you and then you realize, well, I can learn from this. The more we play with those opposite forces, the more interesting the character becomes. How can we train that? How can we take that into our system and play with these forces? It's like being turned on and being turned off, being turned on and being turned off at the same time. And this oscillation, this switch, on, off, on, off, on, off, will deliver a high oscillation, high frequency, and, and a very interesting volume of acting potential you can play with and you can dive into, because that will deliver you a lot of facets. Again, coming to audition, I realize sometimes, you know, you're stressed out, you're nervous, you have your objectives, you know what your character wants, and then it's not easy to play with this opposite force, but this way of dealing with your emotions just for a couple of seconds and then getting back on track. It needs a lot of concentration, a lot of focus, but this is what great acting, legendary acting is all about. Think about all the characters that you watched that deeply impressed you at the movies or while watching Netflix or any other series that you like. Aren't the characters that are contradicting themselves all the time the most interesting to watch? Aren't those characters that you can't really figure out what they're really feeling, what they really have inside of themselves, what they're really thinking throughout the scene, those characters that are the most intriguing, the most interesting to follow? Like I always say, leave the audience with questions, not with answers. Playing a scene with a basic emotion throughout, the casting director realizes after a couple of seconds, okay, okay, he's happy. I got that. And now it won't deliver any tension. You can't really pick up on that. If you jump in between channels, if you jump in between screens and you take out of something here and you take something out of there and you take something out of there, the character becomes grand. You have various rays of, of colors and temperatures hitting the audience, hitting the casting director. And that makes the character also believable. This all belongs to me. It's all the same person. All these diverse emotions when it comes down to video making, to acting, to audition, they're all part of my system. So I try to embrace them as much as I can. I try to be as generous as I can and accept them into my system. I'm guaranteeing you, once you got it figured out and once you realize that subconsciously you are doing this all the time already, now you are bringing it to light and you have structure around it. Now you have a real tangible effective structure around it that you can use to really put it out whenever you want and just put it back when you don't need it anymore. Put it out when you want and put it back when you don't need it anymore. Now it becomes a tool, a tangible tool that affects your performance. Be happy about to discover that you're going into another direction by using that opposite force, by diving deep into that contradiction that we have that is part of ourselves. It's human behavior. It's who we are. So love your contradictions. Take them into account. Don't leave them out of the game. Put them in, insert them. Spice your play up with your contradictions, with your oppositional forces. Because we are living in polarized systems. Why not taking advantage of that? You would suppress 50% of your personality. You would suppress everything that's interesting about your character, about your personality, about your life. That makes the character interesting. And that ultimately, in the end, will make you way richer as an actor. It will give you way more luggage, way more items to use, way more uh, diversity when it comes down to your acting skills. We just have a couple of things that we can use as actors. So make it as granular as possible. Gratify those experiences as much as you can. Always be ready to question yourself and question your craft and, and revisit things and, and re-explore things and rehearse things from a different angle, from a different perspective, because that will give you way more insight than what the casting director might tell you at the end of the audition, at the end of the read. Because if you deliver a lot and it all makes sense and you have worked with those oppositional forces, there's way more to tinker about you. There's way more material and way more potential that you left that kind of uh, leaves an impression and leaves a taste about what kind of actor you are, what kind of style you're playing. Don't play it safe, make it grand, make it big and jump into those diverse islands of emotions, of temperatures, of colors and see how it affects your performance and ultimately how it impacts your 
your audience. Thank you so much guys for sticking with us till the end. It was a great pleasure sharing this tool with you guys. And if you got anything out of this video, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this. Using this tool, these opposite forces, these contradictions for your play, for your actions in front of the camera, for your conflicts that you want to display as a character, as your role and how it works for you. Leave us a like guys, leave us a big thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't so far and share this video to your community because ultimately our mission here at the Coach MC Studio is to create a thriving community of great actors, performers and artists for ever better performances, truly remarkable performances. So smash the bell to get notified every time we grind out a new video and if you have any questions, jump to our website. It's thecoachmc.studio and send us an email with your inquiry, with your question, with whatever you got on your mind and also follow our other adventures on Instagram and Facebook. It's the Coach MC and see you next time with the next video. Now, you're ready to perform.